Okay, we're gonna set up the dial indicator. Um, so you have to put an adapter on the end of it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this end cap off, unthread that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this end on top of it. So this piece has a hole in the end of it. Let's see if I can get it to focus a little better. There we go. Okay. So inside this end where the indicator is, there's a little pin in there. And if I move my hand, you can actually see that little pin move back and forth. So I have to line that hole up with that tube for that pin. So this also has a key and this has a key slot right there. So you got to be really careful that you don't bend that pin. So the first thing you want to do is make sure the key is going to line up with the key slot. Then move the pin to the center. Put the tube over the pin. Okay. Line the key slot up. And then thread it on there. Now, if it's correct, you're going to be able to move this. Okay, so now the indicator moves when you push it on the gear. All right, not the greatest focus, but there we go. All right, so normally we would measure something here, but we want to reach inside the case. And we want to be able to, my finger's the gear, and we want to be able to measure the movement of the gear. So I'm going to set that up, and then I'll show you that in a minute. 